Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Now let's take a look at the title bar. The title bar is the bar that runs across the top of the application window. The name of the notebook page that you are currently working on will be displayed here. You'll see it right there. Then at the right end of the title bar are three buttons in a button group. We have minimize, maximize and restore down, and also close. Now these buttons affect the display of the application window. Clicking minimize will send the application down to the Windows taskbar where you can then click it again to view it. Clicking the maximize button will enlarge your application window to full screen view. It will also toggle the function of the same button to the Restore Down command. Clicking the Restore Down button will change the size of the application window, allowing you to resize and position it on screen as you wish using your mouse. When you click the Restore Down button, it will toggle back into the Maximize button, which you can then click again. Clicking the Close button will simply close the OneNote application, that familiar X in the upper right hand corner. One thing that's a little bit different with OneNote, we'll examine this later, is that all of the changes you've made will be saved automatically. You won't be prompted to save any of your work. Also in the title bar, we have a couple of other buttons that we'll be looking at a little bit later. To the left of that button group, for example, we have Help, which is the small question mark which you click to launch the Help. And then we also have a Ribbon Display Options button, which we'll look at when we're looking more closely at the ribbon, which allows you to change how the ribbon is displayed as you're using the OneNote application. We'll be looking at those features in upcoming lessons as well. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.